back guys to another video and in this video today I'll be showing you uh, how to install hydrogen OS beta version 11 for 3T and beta version 17 for OnePlus 3 so guys today OnePlus again released one more uh, software update for their OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T devices this is my 3 OnePlus 3 and in this right now I'm running the stable version that hydrogen OS version 3.0 this was the latest stable version of uh, hydrogen OS and now they have released beta versions so uh, I'll tell you what all things have been added in that and what are the change logs available in that so if you're running hydrogen OS beta version then you can just go to uh, settings and in that you can go to system update and update your device from here or if you are running uh, oxygen OS or hydrogen stable uh, version then you need to download that complete zip file from the download link given in the description below now I'll show you how to install that there are few methods which you can use to install that I'll be using uh, stock recovery method to install the latest beta version of hydrogen OS but if you guys are rooted you can use your TWRP recovery but make sure you download a complete zip file instead of downloading OTA zip and one more thing guys I have also taken the benchmark test so which I'll show you here and in history I'll show you this this is taken on uh, hydrogen OS uh, stable version and uh, let's take a look what benchmarks we get in uh, beta version of this software so first I reboot my device to official recovery so once my device boots to official recovery I select the language and I go to the first option that is install from internal storage and here I have downloaded the official uh, beta version zip file from their uh, website so you can download the same from the given link so I won't be doing a, a factory reset because I'm already running hydrogen OS so it's not required to do a factory reset I just select this file and install the package so once it is installed I will reboot the device and after that we'll check what are the change logs available in this so now your device reboots and uh, you can uh, initially see that the launcher has been changed so this is a launcher in beta versions which is available and the official uh, stable versions have different launcher so i just go to about and show you guys oneplus 3 hydrogen open beta version 17 installed right now which is running on android 7.1.1 and uh, security patch is 1st May in this nothing new has been added as per their official change logs available on their website few optimization and few fixes have been done uh, to this firmware we start benchmark test so now the benchmark test has been completed so what I'll do is I'll just show you the previous benchmarks and I'll take a picture of that so I go to the results history and these were the benchmarks which I recorded on the stable version so guys and uh, these are the latest benchmarks so guys you can see uh, there is slight improvement on the beta version you can see the single core it shows 1825 and on the stable version it was showing 1749 and on multi core it shows 4107 and on the stable version it was showing 3988 so yes there are improvements uh, on this beta version so rest will get to know after uh, using it for a while and today it is released so I won't be able to tell you much so this was the benchmark test and next let's uh, take a look at what are the change logs available in this so in optimization they say power saving mode the status bar will not turn orange and instead saving notification alert so whenever you go to uh, settings or uh, power saving mode so I go to battery and enable power saving mode so you can see once you enable power saving mode the status bar does not turn to orange color before it used to happen so this is the change they have done next they have a calculated method of optimizing the traffic statics now more efficient calculated so uh, this is uh, something related to traffic which which they say uh, now it is calculated more accurately and the next they have uh, optimization of desktop weather widget display so they have done few optimization of the weather widget display so few optimization they have done to the desktop weather widget which is available here the last one is optimized icon mailbox status bar display so th they're talking about this I have not used this if you guys have used just let me know in the comment section below and uh, next they have few fixes done they say um, problem solving part of third party application flashback 
to fix the problem of garbage management center scanning errors fix the problem of uh, battery icon is not displayed when connecting the bluetooth device so this was a problem yes i even i have observed this problem that whenever you connect your bluetooth uh, device you don't get an option in the status bar to display uh, battery status of that so they say that is fixed uh, i'll check and get back to you guys about that and the last one is whether solve application problem occasionally cannot obtain data. So this is a small uh, fix of this weather app. A few times it was not able to obtain the data. So now they have fixed this uh, problem. So these are the change logs and optimizations available in this. Few fixes done by OnePlus in this beta version. And it is pretty smooth uh, compared to stable version as of now. Let's, uh, let's check after uh, using it for a while and uh, we'll let you know guys about the battery backup so that's all in this video guys if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day